moral of the story is if you're gonna bike ride don't do it at night don't do it tipsy and don't do it on the gravel like what what was i thinking you know i was cleaning out my snake and tortoises you know terrariums and oh my gosh it's so hard to see in here he's hiding right now but he has shed gosh look at this it's just all one piece that's so cool <laughs> now snake boy wants to come out and say hi don't you oh let me turn the camera around are you out and about snake boy <laughs> look at his little tongue flip you look so derpy you're so cute I just gave you fresh water. You're a cutie. Which side's your good side? Do you know? You don't know? I don't either. You're just too beautiful. She's like swimming in air. Oh. Oh. No cutie saying me. Good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you guys. Brandon and I got outside and we brought Sandy outside. I uh, also brought my snake shed, which he just shed and that's really cool. I brought his shed out here so that I, <laughs> I'm so funny, take it apart and hide it somewhere. Yes, this is, this is the weird side of Carmen because I just think it's funny to prank people. Like, imagine you're walking out to go take your garbage outside and you see, like, a snake shed. Wouldn't that, like, alarm you for a second? Probably somewhere along the fence. Okay, I'm gonna go hide this somewhere. I'm gonna put it over here, just in case people are playing this game. I don't even know what this game is called. Can't think of it on the top of my head, but it kind of blends in. Okay, back to my regular daily activity. Every now and then, Brandon and I like to do that when we're taking the garbage out. Go put it by the dumpster and hopefully spook someone. <laughs> At least, it's not harmful. But we're out here enjoying a really good day with Sandy. She is so cute, trying to find food. This way I don't have to feed her, it's free. But, um, got my dad cap on, biker shorts, and my favorite t-shirt that I always wear. This is my favorite shirt, I thrifted it, but, um, before I talk it ear off, Here's Sandy in her natural habitat, being such a cutie, like always. We poured some water on her before she came out here so that she was nice and hydrated. Yep, the head went down. What are you looking at? Oh, is she trying to eat this leaf? She's eating this leaf. I know, I'm surprised she likes it. She's always facing her butt towards me, isn't she? They also said not to park on the grass, but we're daredevils. No, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to read something. It's okay though. The grass isn't gonna die for one hour. Are you trying to escape us? I only have one hand or else I would hold her bottom belly because that's how you're supposed to hold them. But it's okay, Sandy. I'm bringing you to some food. There's two dandelions right here that she can eat. She's turning away from the dandelion I just put her by. What a crazy baby. Don't worry, I'll let you know if you're gonna hit your head. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> and Sandy's over here trying to get past the pole. Oh my gosh, Sandy, you don't fit. Did you ever do that on the swing? Probably. You just gotta run and. And then when it's like kind of like back and forth, 
Yeah, you can jump on it? Yeah, just jump up on it when you can. Yeah. <laughs> Is she smart enough to know it's a trench? This is the real IQ test right here. I think she's smart. She bows. Good job, Sandy. There's like this hole over here that she could have fallen into. <laughs> She's going around. You ever gonna go back to the grass, Sandy? You know, like where you really like to be? Just me setting up a secret camera so I can see if anybody notices that I'm recording. I wonder, like, what he's gonna think. How long do you think it's gonna take him? Yeah, he may still be in the fucking restroom for all we know. <laughs> this could only be funny to us right now. <laughs> True. <laughs> <Four more minutes. laughs> do you think he's gonna check, like, your bedroom first? Probably. He's probably gonna go outside first and then, you know. I feel like we might be out here for the rest of the night. <laughs> Ramon honestly doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to chill by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calling Colby. Oh, Mobile. Oh, shit, it's Colby. He definitely did not see anyone. And we all have our phones, too, so... Should turn airplane mode on? <laughs> airplane? <laughs> You're making me laugh more, Josie. Motherfucker. <laughs> this is too funny. By now, he has to know we're playing a prank. <laughs> He has to know. He's probably searching the hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Yeah, he's probably like, are they walking without me? Are they going on a stroll? God damn it. <laughs> All right. Should, should we go get, inside? Should we get out? <laughs> should we open the garage? At this Here. point, it's just as mean as it is funny. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, no. Where he he texted me. I'm where sorry. Where are you guys? I'm sorry. You said, where are you guys? God damn it. Should right. I tell him the garage? I'm yeah, just move the garage. I'm getting out of that car. <laughs> yeah, we should just like sit like with the light on. So yeah. we can sit with the light on, bro. Turn the light on. Just pretend like we were right here the entire time. I'd rather be on class. Not What the fuck? <laughs> They're not in the closet. They're not in the bathtub. They're not in her bedroom. They're not in the kitchen. Ah, they're right here. Oh my god. <laughs> they hide so well. <laughs> Look, I'm kind of crunk. I'm like 5 out of 10 in Chesney's yard. But what the fuck? You're such a cute bunny. Should I walk towards it? Chesney, do you see your bunny? No, really, this would be a pretty backdrop. We should take a selfie. <gasps> okay, let's do it. Hello, this is Chesney. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were taking a video. <laughs> oh my god, my best friend! I love her. I don't know if they're hiding from us, but they're not in the living room. Really? 
Like, see what we we're doing. Should we go check on the boys? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have no idea where they are. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I have that as your outro. True. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon and I had an amazing night with Tristan and Roman, and we're kind of <laughs> crunk and it's not illegal to ride bikes kind of in our area so we're gonna go ahead and do it right I mean if you could say it's our neighbor holy shit never mind okay waiting for a bike ride with Brandon and I guess I fucking fell too hard to where I uh, fucked up my hand. <laughs> what the heck? And I'm gonna pour some peroxide on it, but first I'm gonna see what my knee looks like because I definitely fell on that shit and it hurts. Ugh. That is what it looks like. Oh shit, did I get blood on the fucking couch? Anyways, that's what my leg looks like. Holy shit, never mind, that looks way worse than I thought it was gonna look. But I guess I scraped some skin on this leg too. Ugh, I hate scars. We'll see how this works, but wish me luck. Hopefully these heal really fast. I had a good time biking, if you guys are wondering. I just happened to um, bike too fast and got out of control, but it's okay. It happens. Look at that cute painting right there. Brandon is locking the bikes up right now and he shall see my wounds, I guess. My battle wounds. <laughs> oh my god, I have sweat in my eye. Holy shit, that looks really fucking bad. It's terrible. Oh my god, are all the lights on? Oh my god, you guys would throw up. What the fuck is that? It looks like I got into a fucking accident, but I really just fell off my bike. Which, I mean, I guess is an accident, but it could have been way worse than that. Do you see this shit? Okay. Oh my god, little baby. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's morning time, and I'm super sore. 
because over the weekend I fell off my bike. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. I have like injuries left and right. Like literally my left hand is all chewed up right here. And then my knee on my right side is messed up, which I don't know how the hell I fell. If both sides are injured in different locations, I must have, I have zero idea. But I'm about to take these bandages off so they can start like drying up, I guess. And hopefully it's not as painful as last time. And then I'll show you guys what we're dealing with because when I first got injured, it was crazy. It, I was just bleeding everywhere. But um, then I cleaned it up, took a shower. It really, really stung. And yeah, now we're here in the healing process. Woo woo. <laughs> it was dark and there is gravel on the concrete sometimes. So I think I just slipped and ate it. And I'm lucky that I didn't get the money maker. And uh, good thing I didn't get my teeth because I really, you know, had braces for a long time and I don't need to mess that up for real <laughs> but um oh gee I'm just stalling because I don't want to do this oh look at that mm, this is not gonna be do you see that that does not look good okay that wasn't as bad as I thought but like that's what we're oh my fucking gosh that looks disgusting I feel like I should censor that for you guys like I shouldn't even show you what my injuries look like I'm gonna let those dry. Probably should have let them dry earlier. And then I have this one on my knee that I'm gonna take off. So, uh, let's see what the heck is going on under here. I did not have to show you guys that. That was actually, that was fucking gross. Well, I am not gonna do a lot today except take care of myself and paint maybe. Oh, and I need to feed Sandy. Ooh, it's time to feed Sandy, baby. Uh, I hope that you guys are doing well. I am healing from my wounds. <laughs> it still looks bad. It looks even worse in person, I promise you. I'm trying to take it easy. It's been really hard to sleep. I've been taking ibuprofen. And I put some alcohol on it the other day. Still not sure if that like got rid of any bacteria that was there we're just hoping for the best but this is how my knee is looking wow i just realized there's like a bruise right there i didn't see that's crazy okay that's how my knee is looking looks terrible right and then this is how like my hand is looking and if i were outside you could probably see a little bit more but i'm inside right now moral of the story is if you're gonna bike ride don't do it at night don't do it tipsy and don't do it on the gravel like what what was i thinking you know but you know it had to happen accidents do happen i'm not the perfect person so we're here in this sticky situation called healing um and hopefully it's not infected like i said because uh, i made brandon put some alcohol on it i was a little baby and i did cry I didn't want to slow the process down. I'm trying to get rid of this. So alcohol was the only route for me to take. And it fucking hurt like a bitch. Mm -hmm.